I often get asked, you know, and I get told by a lot of Asians, a lot of English, a lot of Australians and Kiwis, you know, oh, I don't really want to talk about myself too much. I don't want to talk about my achievements. I don't want to talk about my awards or what I've done. I don't want to say I've led this team or led that team. And I say to them, if you don't do it, there will be some American who comes along and takes the credit. Not just because they've done it, but because it's in their nature. It's their part of their profession, part of their DNA is that they will say they've done something because if they have done it, fantastic. But often they'll exaggerate, as many people do, but they won't have the substance that you have to actually do it. Now, many Americans are wonderful, amazing entrepreneurs, and they will happily go out there and talk about what they've actually done. But they're no better than English or um, Australians or Kiwis or Chinese or Singaporeans or Hong Kongese or anybody else in the world. Just that we're more modest as an English person myself. You know, it's like I had to take a step forwards and a step in a different direction when I came to Asia and actually say, I've done this, I've done this, and I've done this. And project that through things like LinkedIn, for example, and say, I have actually done this. You know, give me that job, give me that chance, give me that opportunity. Because if I didn't do it, I wouldn't be creating companies, I wouldn't be an entrepreneur. So it's about elevating, it's about creating your personal branding and doing a book helps doing that. So my book, Personal Branding Mastery for Entrepreneurs, talks all about how you should talk about yourself and actually talk about what you have actually done. I don't mean lying, I actually mean saying what you have actually done. That team you led, that award you won, that achievement, that innovation, that thing you did that's fantastic, that way you've changed someone's life. You know, think about how you've enhanced other people's personal brand by your actions, by what you've shared. Doing talks does that. I love doing talks because I see people reacting going, wow, I never knew that about LinkedIn. Wow, I never knew that about personal branding. I've learned something, I'll put it into place. And I get messages the next day or the day after saying, I changed my LinkedIn, I did what you tell me on LinkedIn, and I won this piece of business, I won this client, I got that job. So it's changed people's lives, all because I've actually shared that information. So you have to be more American in how you project yourself. You have to be more American in terms of how you talk about yourself. Don't be frightened about talking about things and sharing things. It's a very American thing to do so, but that's why they're very good entrepreneurs. But that's why Asians are also amazing entrepreneurs. We don't talk about it as much, don't share as much, and they need to. So you need to be more American, less English, in projecting your own personal brand and talking about your own achievements. And I talk about that in my book, Personal Brand Room Mastery for Entrepreneurs. Read it and you'll find out more.